here we are again on Ilaranta Holiday Village. Here we started the red wood ant of former Karufa, conducting most of our experiments on the old pal ant nest. In the summer of 2010, there were 13 ant nests on the territory of Ilaranta, but some of them began to die. It now became more urgent for us to find a way of spreading the ants on the territory of Eloranta before the whole population of Formicarufa ants disappeared. First of all, we studied how the ants make new ant nests in natural conditions. With most species of ants, the most common way of reproduction is the mating flight. A mating flight is when hundreds of winged reproductive male and female ants, called allets, stream out of the ant nest into the air. They gather in big clouds in the air and there mate. Then the males die and the females drop their wings and try to start new colonies or return to their original ant nest. The allies of some species mate right on the top of their ant nest. These allies usually stay in their home ant nest. Where the weather is colder, only the most powerful ant nests can afford the luxury of a mating flight. In 2010, we witnessed a mating flight in Old Pal. However, this summer the most powerful ant nest on Ilaranta was Twin. Twin is located in the woods right on the edge of Ilaranta, near a T-shaped crossroads. All the ground near Twin is covered with ants, scurrying to and fro. But six forging trails can clearly be seen. Two of them cross the road and head into some fir woods. The other four go onto trees near Twin. We expected that this summer there would be a mating flight in Twin. So we made a special arena for the allies, a plastic dome covered with buttercloth. This arena was placed right on the top of Twin, as we expected the allies to try and climb as high as they could before taking off. This happened in Old Pal in 2010. We also thought that the mating flight would be easily seen, that there would be clouds of allets swarming all around Twin. But if my little sister had come home one day screaming fly fly with a dead allet in her hand, we would have missed the mating flight altogether. The mating flight in Twin went on for three days, from the 8th to the 10th of June. Each day only a few dozen allets climbed out of Twin onto its surface and even fewer took off. Mostly they just roamed over the surface of Twin. The ordinary worker ants from Twin tried to drag many of them back into the nest. Evidently this was not to the liking of the winged ants. A few rather strange ants were spotted on the surface of Twin. They looked like allets, but without wings. We decided that these were female allets who had already mated and had dropped their wings. On the rare occasion when an allet took off, it didn't try to climb as high as it could. Instead, our arena was covered with ordinary worker ants, which stayed motionless for a very long periods of time. As our main goal is to spread the ants across the territory of Eloranta, we wanted to catch a few allets to make new nests. Our plan was to place all the allets we caught into a big container where they would mate. Then the males would die and the females would drop their wings and we would put them into separate tube incubators so that they could lay their first eggs there. So, when we spotted an allet on the surface of Twin, we scooped it up with a paper funnel we made earlier and placed it into the mating container. We also scooped up the wingless queens and put them into tube incubators. All in all, we caught seven allets and three wingless queens, but none of the allets in the container survived. The wingless queens fared alike. They died a month after the mating flight in Old Pal. A different reproduction method was seen in the domestic ant nest. The domestic is rather smaller than twin, of medium size. 
but it is also on a crossroads, right on the edge of a lawn. It has four forging trails, three of them lead to nearby trees. The fourth is much more powerful. It leads to two trees, to aspens, but it also leads to another ant nest, which we have called fortress. The ants carry a lot of pupae and larvae towards fortress along this road. The fortress is a daughter nest of the domestic. It is placed on the end of a fallen tree, right on the edge of the territory of Eloranta, and is still very small, but the ants are actively building it. Already it has one foraging trail. Division, or the creation of daughter ant nests, is a way of reproducting favored by northern ants, because single queens can hardly survive here. Last year, the domestic had a different daughter nest, the logi, which was located in, in a log. But this spring, when the territory of Elranto was cleared, the log was chopped up and thrown away. An ant nest can have many daughter nests, and its daughters can have their daughters too. A kilometer from Elranto, we found a colony of eight ant nests on a small clearing. Again, near a crossroads. The two largest nests are located roughly at the center of the clearing. Then there are three near a bush, and two more under a boulder nearby. The last one is to the north. This is the smallest one. These nests are obviously one family, because there are no fights between them. So, we have seen that the Formicarufa ants from Ilranta Holdy Village prefer to reproduct by creating daughter nests. Only the most powerful nests can afford to host a mating flight, but even they do it only to increase the number of queens in the nest. Single queens are ill-adapted for survival in our harsh climate. We haven't managed to create a new ant nest only from one queen. But next time we will try another way of creating a new nest, and this time I am sure we will succeed in spreading the Formicarufa ants on the territory of Villaranta. Thank you.